configuring data store clusters in vSphere 6. Okay, we do vMotion, right? So that machines can migrate to another host and use memory and CPU and network from another host, right? We you and there is something called DRS that do the same thing to migrate VMs through vMotion but automatically, right? We have a storage vMotion where we move VMDK file from one data store to another data store and the reason could be to get better performance out of storage or lungs, you know, to get better I.O. For, for our VMs so they can perform better. Well, there is something called storage DRS that can do this for us automatically. Like DRS do automatic vMotion, storage DRS do automatic storage vMotion. And in order to configure or to use storage vMotion, we need to create a cluster of data stores. Like in order to use DRS, we need to create a cluster, right, of hosts. So in order to use the, the automated or storage vMotion, we need to create data store cluster. Once we create data store cluster, we can specify LUNs that will be part of this cluster and then vSphere can automatically, you know, handle movement of VMDK between data stores. Of course, we can configure it to provide just suggestions or movement or we can specify certain condition. For example, if IOPS are high to this extent, just just move it. So let's see how to do that. This is our cluster. We go at the cluster level, of course, related objects, and data store cluster. We don't have any data store cluster right now, right? So we go to data stores. And do we have any option here? No, register, 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 and this is what? Increase data store capacity. And we have here, do data store. But not data store cluster. Right? So from where I can create data store cluster? Do you think if I go here, which is my data center and data store cluster. You think can I create it here? Yes. There is a data store cluster. Data store cluster name, I will keep it data store cluster one, location birth, and this is C turn on storage DRS. So vSphere storage DRS enable vCenter to manage data store as an aggregate pool. Like cluster is an aggregate of CPU and memory of hosts. So storage DRS for data store cluster, it's an aggregate of storage resources. See? vSphere Storage DRS also enable vCenter to manage the assignment of virtual machine to data store. Like when I will create a new VM, I will not choose data store 1 or data store 2, I will just choose the cluster. So where to create VMDK? It's up to vCenter. vCenter will decide, vSphere will decide what's the best place to create VMDK. I will just select a cluster. Okay, create my virtual machine in this data store cluster. To which LUN or which data store it will choose, it's up to vSphere. It will determine the best possible way. Suggesting placement when virtual machines are created, migrated or cloned, and migrating running virtual machines to balance load and enforce placement rules. Awesome. Here, I can choose the level. No automation or fully automation. 
I would suggest for storage DRFs, really keep it no automation. Just use ask for suggestions, really, because uh, this could be. It, it's not like V motion that will finish in a flash or in a minute or two because it's like movement of EMDK files that can impact sometimes, you know. So I would suggest keep it no automation, manual mode, and ask for suggestions. And that's what the VMB Center will do. It will make migration recommendations or suggestions for virtual machine storage, but will not do automatic, you know, storage vMotion. And we can specify space automation level, use cluster settings, which is balance automate IO balance for this program. We'll keep all this to the cluster settings. And here IO metric. Then when it should do automatic stuff, where you can specify threshold, let's say, if it's eighty percent you know, or minimum disk space is this much, or IO latency. So in case if you are using automatic migrations, here you can specify the criteria, like perform automatic migration when the IO latencies are more than, by default is 15 milliseconds, but let's say it's, if it's 20 or more, or 25 or more, space threshold, when the space is used more than 80%, okay, try to do something. And see, dictates them dictates the minimum amount of consumed space for each data store, the threshold for action, or minimum space. So these are this is your metric you can configure for a storage DRS recommendation. And here you can select cluster or host that requires connectivity to this data stores, cluster one. And which data stores will participate in this? I have two share. If I have 10, I don't have to select 10. I can choose which data store I want this part of, to be the part of this data store cluster. And that's it. And here it is. You see? Now it's an aggregate of the capacity. Aggregate of free space. So I will sh let me show you one thing. If I select right click and say new virtual machine, create a new VM, and say test. Cluster 1. See, previously when I was creating VM, it's not related to this one, but let me show you. It was telling me there was no DRS configure to choose, select a host, or right? But here, this time I'm selecting a cluster because DRS is enabled. It will know where to automatically place this VM. So it means DRS is working, right? Okay, you see, storage policy data store default. I will select just this data store cluster. If I try to see, I cannot select individual ones. I will just choose the cluster and vSphere will decide where to keep those these files. In iSCSI DS1 or iSCSI DS2. That's vSphere heading or vCenter heading, not my heading anymore. So that's how because it's treating these two as one entity, a restore cluster. So that's what I wanted to show you. So it's, it's a good feature. Try it, try it, and you can use it in production as well. It's good that you just to let vSphere decide or vCenter decide where it's the best place uh, to keep, you know, new VM, VMDK files. You can create different clusters, like one cluster for 
SAS, OnePlus 4 SSD, and then choose, you know, for, for your VM's appropriate cluster. So keep this in mind, please, that this, all these things are possible, and it's there, out there for your ease, for your usage. So this is it, guys. This is for storage DRS and data or data store cluster. And I will see you in another video.